beautiful. Ah, let's take a breath and roll our shoulders back. Mm, mm, shake it. Hey. Hey, everybody. How is it going today? It is your girl, Michelle Kanan. I'm also known, delightedly, as the Satisfied Wife. I'm the founder of our incredible Goddess Wife Vibes for Unstoppable Females community on Facebook. So come on and join us in there. And I am the founder of the legendary Goddess Wife School, where I help powerful go-getter women just like you, just like me, have the relationship of your dreams with your ma'am. And that's why I'm popping on here today. It's Wifey Wednesday, so say hello if you're joining me live. Let in a comment so that I know that you're here. Um, or if you're catching me later, do hashtag replay, and I'll come back and I'll chat with you because I am sharing what is apparently a mind-blowing concept for so many women. And for me in my world, <laughs> it's you know pretty accepted and natural now. But for so many of us out there that have been taught for so long, right, since birth, it's been um, modeled for us, it's been demonstrated in relationships that we see around us, in the movies, in the media. Oh, we talk so much about the patriarchy, right? We talk so much about this whole system that has been set up around us that is built not only for for women to fail, but like against us and against like what's good for us and against our happiness and our joy and our expansion. And I'm not going to argue against it, right? A lot of things were not designed with women in mind for our success, for us to be upwardly mobile in our careers, for us to have it all, for us to find balance. Sure, I totally get it. I worked in corporate America for a long time. Um, now I have a family, right? I have a toddler. I'm married. I have my own business. I'm a co-founder of a business with my husband. We also have like other real estate investment properties. I am a busy, successful, powerful woman in this world. And yet I learned a really important lesson, right? Because if you're like me, if you're in a relationship uh, with a man, if you have a husband, uh, a boyfriend, a life partner, you have an untapped resource. <laughs> you have an incredible, incredible resource in your relationship, but you don't even know it. And you're not even tapping into it because there are so many unconscious and limiting beliefs that you have been taught your whole life, that you've seen enacted in the relationships around you, maybe in your parents, in your grandparents, in other women around you. It's been totally normalized for how much men suck, <laughs> for how much men are unsupportive, how they don't understand women, you know, that men are from Mars, women are from Venus, we don't understand each other, that they don't understand emotional labor, that we have to fight men for everything that we want, fight for a seat at the table, fight for our success, fight, fight, fight. And I get it. I get it. There's so many instances out there where that is absolutely 100% true, where that's necessary, where we need that push energy, where we need that fight energy. Hey, Destiny. But the thing is, when it comes to your relationship, do you? Do you need that kind of energy? And do you need to fight your man? And is your man actually your enemy? Or is he your greatest resource for a limitless potential and activation? but you don't even know because you are stuck in a pattern with him where y'all are fighting against each other and trying to figure out how to like compromise or reach like 50-50 or be totally equal or find that kind of neutral ground instead of learning how to activate each other in your 100-100 power, the divine power space and be limitless together. So many women are dragging, right? We hear about baggage, emotional baggage. You're dragging the trauma and the limiting beliefs around patriarchy and around toxic masculinity and around men in general into your relationship with your partner. And it's that kind of unconscious thinking and believing, limited believing around your man what's possible, what he desires to do, who he desires to be, how he desires to show up for you, how he desires to fuck you in bed. It's your limitation, actually, that is keeping him from being the man that you say that you want him to be and the partner that you desire to have in your relationship. Now, am I blaming you? No, 100% not blaming you. Are you wrong? Am I criticizing you? 
No, I'm just peeling back a layer. I'm just exposing something that you might not know because it's edgy to talk about this. It's scary to talk about this. It is not um, widely accepted so much to talk about this, but I'm in this place where I'm not going to hold back those kinds of truths anymore. And look, if this isn't your truth, that's cool. You can keep on keeping on. But if you're having an experience in your relationship with your man, right, where when you look at him, when you think about him, there's disappointment. Or there's the belief that he doesn't know how to show up for you. He doesn't know how to give you what you want or need. That he couldn't possibly understand you. That he couldn't possibly understand. Like, I want you to sit with that, with that belief that you have about your partner. And if there's a deeper belief here that says that you're never going to get what you want and need. If he's getting what he wants and needs or vice versa. So many women, especially powerful women like you and me. That like we have our dreams, we have our visions, we have the way that we know things should be in order for them to be right, in order for us to feel good, in order for us to feel successful. We end up fracturing our relationships with our partners in that path to success. And I want you to understand this, right? We as powerful women have been taught that we have to fight for what we want. And sometimes we do. But when it comes to your man... You don't have to. You don't have to fight him. That's one of like many of a million infinite options and tactics and strategies that you can take. So why are you picking the one that forces you to get into this kind of power struggle that keeps giving you a result that doesn't make you happy and that doesn't make him happy either? So many of us have been conditioned to expect the worst from our partners, to expect toxic masculinity from our partners to be afraid of his power his strength his confidence when at the same time deep in your core that's really really what you want to feel from him right you want to feel that strength you want to feel that leadership you want to feel like he can hold it down for you like he's like your rock like this man that you can just like "Mm," you know and yo so many of you want your man to grab you and throw you down and show you who is boss in the bedroom but if you're not letting him do that outside of the bedroom how can you expect him to do that in the bedroom and hell he wouldn't even know if he's allowed to do that in the bedroom or that you would even desire it either ah your man isn't the patriarchy he's not and i want to bring this up in a really big way in a really clear way and let you know that you do not have to fight against him we go so deep inside of this way of thinking and unlocking this kind of trap that we as women have placed ourselves in where we're on the one hand trying to fight against men and trying to fight against this system but then you have your man in your life like your primary partner and he loves you he wants to see you succeed he wants to see you thrive he wants to see you having it all like Your happiness and your joy is like the best thing in the world to him. The best. So how do those two things come together, right? (laughs) How does that work in our minds, right? In which way do we make these kind of mental gymnastics in order to like make this understandable? You don't have to fight against him because he wants to partner with you as much as you want to partner with him so that you both can have it all. And that's the trick right? This is the big secret that most people don't realize is that you're not 50-50 in relationship. All these people that are teaching about compromise and things that you need to give up in order to keep things together and for both to be happy. Why would either of you want to whittle yourselves down just to placate the other person and just to keep things moving on? That's not long-term partnership that is for expansive growth-minded people that want the best. That, that want to, you know, that are visionaries, that are creators, that are builders. You want to have a different kind of relationship with your man. Stop fighting against him. Stop treating him. And this is super unconscious. This is really deep here, how, how down, deep down the rabbit hole this goes. Stop treating him as something or someone that you need to fight against in order to be able to win or to have success or to be happy or to have everything that you want recognize that your man 
could be your greatest asset, your greatest resource. This relationship that you have together could be the launching pad, the springboard for co-creating your wildest dreams together. So how do you (laughs) rectify, right? How do you get to that place where you have to fight against, but also that you want to partner with? How can you let go of that belief? How can you dig down and find all the ways where you are fighting against him, where you are pitting yourself in a power struggle against him? And let that shit go. Because once you do that, once you change your energy, once you stop pulling in those traumas and those limiting beliefs around men and what they want for you or what they don't want for you or how they want to control you or hold you down, And once you let that go in your relationship and see truly what your man desires for you and himself together, together, that's when you can really have partnership. That's when you can really create together. That's when opportunities are limitless, when you're in flow, energetic flow, co-creational flow together. And that's when he can really start to show up as the man that you want him to be for you instead of the enemy that you have to fight against in order to be free. So that's my piece for now. If you want to learn more, it's all inside my Goddess Wife School, or you can find us on Facebook inside of my Goddess Wife Vibes for Unstoppable Females community. Shoot me a DM. This is my bread and butter. This is my zone of genius, helping powerful women just like you really partner with your man, be a power couple instead of having power struggles and truly experience what it's like to co-create with your partner without limitation so that you can have the money, the lifestyle, the family, the love, the support, the sex, the happiness that you deserve and that your man deserves too. You both can have that together. You both can have everything that you've ever wanted, ever needed, ever desired. And I'll be super psyched to show you how. Have a great one.